Hi there, my name is Mrs. Rindflesh, and I wanted to um, introduce myself and give you a little bit more information. So let's get started. Here's a little video to um, share a little bit about myself. Hi there, welcome back to school. I'm your new second grade teacher, Mrs. Rindflesh. You can call me Mrs. R, because my name is a little bit long and hard to say sometimes, so you'll know me by Mrs. R probably. Um, I wanna welcome you back to school. Some of you have probably seen me here because I've been teaching at C.B. Smith for 14 years, but um, some of you, if you don't remember me, that's okay because I did cut my hair and um, I had a baby last year, so you might not have seen me around as much because I was gone um, a lot of last year. But I'm back and I'm happy to um, see you guys and to have you in my class and I can't wait. Um, in the rest of this video, you are going to learn a little bit about me and then you are going to get some important information. So make sure that you are ready for the first day of school. Um, I wanted to show you what I looked like without my mask. Um, but you will be seeing me mostly with my mask. And so I wanted to kind of let you know that I, underneath my mask that I'm smiling and I'm ready for you to be in my class and I can't wait to meet you. I'll see you on Thursday or Friday, depending on what day you come. Don't be scared. Don't worry about it. We'll have a great time. I'll take good care of you. And um, just be ready to come and have some fun and learn. Okay. See you soon. Bye. A little bit about myself. I've been teaching at CB Smith for 14 years. I've taught both first and second grade. Second grade is my favorite grade to teach. I just love it. Um, I used to coach track for Edison Junior High, and I also helped develop and coach the co-op cross country team for both Edison and Broadmoor Junior High schools. Um, I do not coach either one of those anymore because um, having my baby last fall, um, I wanted to spend more time with my family. My family is my life. I enjoy making new experiences and going on adventures with them, um, with my husband, uh, his name is Kyle, and my 10-month-old daughter is named Piper. Um, you might hear me call her Pippi or Pip. Uh, we do a lot of things together like uh, hike, walk, swim, mushroom hunt, fish, um, and just we love being outdoors and spending time with um, our other family members, which are my parents, brothers, my niece and nephew, his parents, and our grandparents. Some other things that I like to do are I like to go running and I like to go biking and kayaking and lifting and exercising, rock climbing and working on my faith. So just a lot of outdoorsy things and a lot of active um, activities. I also like to travel. The last place that I had have been traveling was to Costa Rica where I got to see some sloths, vipers, hummingbirds, toucans, and a lot more animals. I also went zip lining in the rainforest and went four wheeling as well. So I just love, love, love adventures. And I can't wait to have a second grade adventure with you this year. It will definitely be adventurous, I'm sure. A few of my favorite things. I love the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, too bad we can't cheer them on this year too much. Just a few games, not very many. And then I like Wild Cherry Pepsi, Hummingbirds. I love to watch Hummingbirds outside um, my house. And then I just love um, being outdoors, especially in the mountain area. Some books that I love. My kids will hear me talk about Raoul Dowell all the time. Raoul Dowell is an author, um, an English author who wrote Matilda, The Witches, The BFG. Um, he also wrote um, Fantastic Mr. Fox, James and the Giant Peach, and um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So he's turned a lot of those into movies as well. But I also love these other two books that are on here, Hoots, Toots and Harry Brutes and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Some supplies that you'll need for the first day of school. You will have your book bag full of supplies the first day that you come. You need to put your name on everything that you possibly can because we do not want to lose anything, especially um, we don't want it contaminated with other people because they thought it was theirs. Um, Please try to open as many things as you can so that I do not have to touch all of your supplies and open them for you. Um, also, try not to open glue sticks, crayons, or markers. Just kind of keep those in those boxes as much as possible. Um, 
if you could pre-sharpen pencils, if you have anything to sharpen a pencil at home, that would be a huge help um, so that I don't have to spend all day after school sharpening pencils um, at the first day of school. Something else that you'll need the first day of school, if you have your Chromebook, I want you to bring that fully charged and I want you to bring it every day to school fully charged because we're going to be doing a lot of things on the Chromebook even in the classroom. Um, you'll want to bring your lunchbox if you aren't ordering lunch here at school and a healthy snack. We cannot provide snack for everyone this year because of safety reasons, so please bring your snack with you. Um, another thing that's different is we can't provide full water, or we can't provide water here at school because of safety issues, so you'll need to bring a full water bottle. There would be no drinking fountain, um, and we can't get water out of the faucet, so make sure that you're bringing your water if you want water from home, bring it from home. Um, Gym shoes can be brought on gym days. We have them on Tuesday and Wednesday. So if you're a Tuesday group, bring them that day. If you're a Wednesday group, bring them on Wednesday. Some important information, please listen. We will be communicating with your parents through Remind. Parents, please do not opt out of Remind. This is our primary tool for communicating with you. Um, we will also be using Google Classroom for our work Okay, so be looking for the classwork on Google Classroom. Um, we'll give you a little bit more information about that later. Okay, it's pretty easy and fun once you get to know it. Something else is it's important to watch the Back to School video. It has some very important information in it. Please go to that Back to School video um, that we're going to be sending you. I'll try to send this out through my mind too so you can click on this link. Um, if you are able to. All right. I know everybody's nervous about when they arrive. So when you arrive um, to school, if you're getting dropped off, stay in your car, please, until you drive up to the front of the entrance. Someone will be asking you questions and taking your temperature, but be wearing your mask before you get up to the front so that we're ready to go and it goes smoother. If you're a bus rider, wear your mask on the bus and also listen to the monitors and the driver for directions. Then you're going to come into room 13 once you've um, been asked questions and got your temperature. Um, I will have a donut bulletin board in the front and a sign with a string art apple with my name on it. So go ahead and come to that room. And then look for me. I'll be wearing my right, I'll be wearing a bright fun outfit and don't forget I'll be wearing my mask so I will look more like the picture and not the videos that you just saw. All right, here's some contact information. My contact for email is stephanie.rainflush at peakin108.org. I also have um, a text. You can also text me on, on the Remind app and then you can call 477-4730 and they will um, give you my extension and send you to my phone. So I cannot wait to see you. We'll see you soon and I hope you have a good rest of your summer. It's almost time for school to start.